two. Three, he's just a dick. One, oh, he's really cool. Two, he's like, I don't know. This one, he's like, cool. Two, I don't know, kind of in between. Like, I don't know. I don't know the full thing with that weird shit. I think he's just a weird fucking dude, maybe. Religious activities, my man. Clabber. But I think the guy they're talking about gets fucking murked, man. Like, he gets destroyed. Your waves at her, like, what's even the point of the fucking disguise, man? Like, obviously, she'd still know, but, like, at least fucking have an attempt, man. Why does it skip between the scenes so quickly there? Odd.
I mean, it just whenever the scene changes, it just flashes a little extra. That's all I guess. Maybe just need a quick reload. I don't know. We'll see. It is way too perfect, man. So what is his regret going to be? Reincarnation of Oishiro. We've talked about that before, but I don't know how much stock we can really put in. Well, that whole deal. something but this flashback is that what all it is or <laughs> they leave the flashing of the screen in between makes it kind of like a glitch but I don't think so save real quick. It's getting old having the screen completely flash. I don't even know if you guys can catch it, but 
screen just completely flashes white or like has some random uh I don't know, fly, you can barely catch a flash of some other background or something. It's odd. Alright, controller's fucked. Give me a sec. It dies a few times every stream. That's fun. Oh, still flashing. I don't know, dude. Whatever. It's like every time uh, sprites change. As long as the story is the same, whatever. It doesn't matter. I wish we could get this kind of atmosphere with the visuals. I know some like dark rain going on. It's good stuff. I'd almost rather them just not have this background. It not feel very rainy. The skies are clear. Okay. Sorry I'm not saying much because I'm pretty into it. There's not much to say. A couple of reactions maybe. Curious what's gonna happen, I don't know. We don't I don't remember from what they've told us how this goes down. If we even know the truth. Shit, a fight.
Like, oh, we should just, like, bear mode, dude. <laughs> like, I was like... Have you been remembering things from the anime as you go? Uh, not as much as you'd think. The last episode I definitely remembered more. I remembered at the beginning that one of the episodes had the entire town die. But I thought it was like in a volcano. But it was a volcano gas, so that was a little different. Um, I knew that he killed somebody when the episode started. But I didn't remember if he ever got found out or what happened after that. Um, it's all very hazy. If I remember something, it's like a very vague thing. Almost like they just kind of barely mention it in the game, you know? It's all... Nothing very specific, no. It definitely doesn't feel like I'm reliving events at all. There's like a couple small things. Shit like Xion was like some of the bigger stuff. I still remember something about a helicopter where they're all going in a helicopter at the very end of the anime. But I don't <laughs> I don't know if they're escaping because the whole place is gonna explode. I thought there's malicious people involved, but I mean there's always gonna be bad people, so. That's probably the biggest thing I still can remember, and that's not much. I'm glad I don't remember a lot. I, I hope I remember less and less. Keep it uh, entertaining. I'm glad it was so long ago when I watched it so quickly. And I don't think, I don't remember the anime really resonating with me very hard, so I probably don't. Yeah, you, know, you usually care more or you care about something the more you remember it, but it was like, oh, this is cool, you know. <laughs> Yahoo! And then kinda on to the next one. And I've heard rumors that the anime has a different ending, like it adapts one of the alternate endings, so I can't even trust that, which is good. Maybe it doesn't, but just the fact that I'm not clear on that helps with the meta theorizing. I know a couple of torture scenes we haven't seen, I think, like with uh... Satoko, but that might be just like uh, the answer arc for episode 2 or something, who knows. If that's even how the format works, I don't remember the format exactly. I've heard that the biggest thing with the anime is it just has a different atmosphere. Like this is more like psychological and can be spooky where the anime is supposed to be a lot more just like about slasher bitches and shit. I'm sure it's not as good but I've never heard anybody just call it horrible. But yeah isn't it like 52 episodes and then some change? I think it adapts some of the like sequel slice of life arcs and shit like that. I don't know if I'll play any of the sequel shit that Ryukishi wrote. I don't know what's important, I forget. Probably just be good with the eight episodes. I don't even know what's adapted, if anything.
Yeah, I've heard that only a couple are by him. I know like the vast majority aren't like something I care about. I only care about the ones that have anything to do with the main story and are written by him, which I don't know if there's much of that. I don't really care much. I don't know if any of the alternate endings were written by him, I forget. Or that some of them are better. The idea that there's there's somebody had a flowchart for me. The idea that there's that much extra content that was surprising. I mean shit, that Umineko has an alternate episode coming out. That's surprising. I'm just like why? I guess. Like, should I be reading these things? If they're long enough on their own, I'm just like, I feel like this core story is all that really matters. But obviously, I only really care about the original story on Higurashi. I mean, even if the alternate endings are better, I'd read them after the original, so. Yeah, I don't get the Umi Necro thing. Like, with Higurashi, you can just do more slice of life, and I don't know how it ends. Like, maybe there's room for more shit. Umi Necro kind of wraps up, like, the whole point. It's all, it's all one big package. You just have another slasher episode in this, you know? Yeah, if it's good, fuck it, man. I don't give a shit. That he wants to include the manga only stuff into the new VN episode. It's like a ninth episode. Oh. And the manga goes past the eighth episode, or do you just mean like just extra scenes and extra events and shit? And like a bonus episode? So, how long is the manga? Gotta be super long. I've always, well, I've kind of wanted to read it just because I'd like to see a more visual adaptation of it, and more thorough. But I don't. It's like you can't just go through Minako real quick, you know? Like, oh, it's like a ten-hour thing. Like, it's a fucking journey, dude. Really, really long. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. That's just my theories. Okay, shit. Play VNs one through eight and read the mangas episode eight. Okay, so did he write the extra shit in the manga, or is that somebody else and he's just like approved of it? I assume he he did. He did? Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. I feel like I should then read the episode 8. Maybe I will. But if he's gonna do it in the VN, I'd rather just wait. Wonder if it's good. If it's good content. Yeah, I'll wait to hear about the new VN episode, and then I'll read that. I'll probably have to brush up on some knowledge as I'm reading it, though.
They said his skull's cracked right now, right? Jesus fuck. I mean, that's usually not good, man. <laughs> Brain ain't that fucking you know, pretty delicate, man. I have pieces of skull flying around and it's open to the world. Factions and all that shit. Yeah, once I finish this, I'll look into more of the, like, extra material to see what's really worth it. And if it's even in English. And then uh, once I feel like we've got it all figured out, I guess we'll just wait and see any Mineko. If you put this guy in a situation where he feel like his life's on the line and he doesn't have much chance to think, no matter what Oryu you or whatever her name's orders are like, he could easily just fucking kill you. This song's really loud. I'm speaking very loud, trying not to see my volume levels to see where we're at. If you guys need adjustments, let me know. I turned the volume up for you guys today. Somebody said something offhand about how loud it is. That I kind of inferred something from, so I'll try to turn it up. The Higurashi prototype and what Higurashi was first supposed to be. That'd be kind of cool. I feel like a prototype is probably more like more horror spooky. I wonder if that's true. The audio sounds fine. Okay, good. Just making sure. Make sure my voice doesn't drown everything out. I'm talking a little too loud. Not comfortable volumes for me. But because everything's so loud here, I like to be able to hear myself. So if I can raise my voice. I guess everybody does that though. I don't think it's Uishi. Is he gonna try to like fucking double tap him? Uh. <laughs> He's like hiding by him. 
This is like a fucking like some Clint Eastwood fucking shit, dude. Dirty Harry. Okay. Isn't he like super wounded right now, dude? <laughs> the skull cracking part was what I was kind of worried about. Man. I don't know. I feel like the bolt to the shoulder is not good either, but fuck him. What the hell is that, dude? That's what I'm saying, dude. Something's fucked up. <laughs> nah, I, I can't read what that is. I don't know what that said. You can't go back through the fucking backlog in these scenes, so... Maybe it was like new tips? Yeah, I think so. I haven't played Never 7. Did ever 17 and remember 11. People haven't talked highly enough about Never 7 for me to do it yet. Nobody's talked like major shit, but I've not heard like any glowing remarks yet about it. The effect speed's turned up to max, is it? Yeah, what the fuck? How did that end up there? The only thing I ever turned up was the auto mode message speed, but that got reset. Well, that explains that. Every time I start a new episode, all the options get changed. I don't, I don't understand. I don't know why that would be up. Thanks, boss. Never said it was not great. No, not worth playing. Okay. Well, I probably won't then. I got too much else to do. Game and VN wise. I'll probably end up streaming. Adult rated shit on other, like a different website if I needed to do. No. Tap deeper into the VN libraries before I even touch number seven. I don't even know the general idea of it. Premise. So did he die or what? I don't think so. I mean, this makes me think maybe, but.
Oh, really? Okay. And yeah, I got other fish to fry. The shit I want to play the most is like... Sally doesn't have censored versions of shit. Oh, well. We've always got more stuff. There's always seems to be new shit popping up too that I want to do. That I can stream. Her grandmother used to live in the village. She's a descendant. The kid is. I wonder if the blood, man, the biological stuff matters at all. Probably. Good to go, I guess. Still gotta find out if there's any kind of Karno Shoujo censoring. Even if there's, I like, guess, censored sex scenes if it still describes the sex scenes and is kind of explicit i don't know if i could still do it i'd have to see i got other shit to do though I've been doing a lot of VNs non-stop as well. Not that I mind. I don't know what we would do next. I've talked about just doing Higginbot too, just to do more Ryukishi shit, just for shits, because that's really short. I've talked about doing Stein's Gate, just to play through the full story of everything. That one I remember more clearly, but not perfectly clear. Some of the details will still be fun, and obviously we don't know any of the alternate routes and bad ends. I've, told, I've been told that one's definitely worth going through, even, even if you've just seen the anime. What else is at the top of the list? I don't know. I'll have to look around. It's definitely worth it? Okay, good, yeah. We could try playing that while doing something else cause at some point here, because I was going to play through a f Steam family share. So, since it's a little on the longer side, I doubt that person's library is going to be always available for us. That'll be cool. Speaking of Ryukishi, we're going to do Rose Guns days at some point. But... Yeah, I don't know. I've got, I've got a VN list somewhere. Oh, it's on my normal list. It's at the bottom. But it's probably not fully complete. Probably doesn't have everything I've done taken off. and Some of the shit we've been talking about recently I don't think has been added. Like Rose Guns days and shit.
At least she seems like a solid dude right now, man. I can't get a full read on him, man. I mean, this could be bullshit for all I know. He's a great A fucking silver tongue actor, man. But he did fucking go deep. Well, she already had the baby and he wasn't back yet. Hmm. Makes you wonder. Two. Three is just a dick. One, he's really cool. Two, he's like, I don't know. This one, he's like, cool. Two, I don't know, kind of in between. Like, I don't know. I don't know the full thing with that weird shit. I think he's just a weird fucking dude, maybe. Religious activities, my man. Clever. Two. Three is just a dick. One, oh, he's really cool. Two, he's like, I don't know. This one, he's like, cool. Two, I don't know, kind of in between. Like, I don't know. I don't know the full thing with that weird shit. I think he's just a weird fucking dude, maybe.
Religious activities, but not. Clabber. But I think the guy they're talking about gets fucking murked, man. Like, he gets destroyed. And he knows that everybody in Hinamizawa works together, man. Oh my god. I'd be like, dude, at this point, your goal should be going home. I'd be like, go to the hospital, or, you know, go to the hotel, or get on the bullet train and just get back. It's gonna go better. He can't even call her and he's still going to do it. I'm in enemy territory. Let me just fucking run around the town as a cripple. wonder if they're going to have like a normal episode after this or if this will be it. Probably this is just it. It's not really giving anything to us, it's just kind of a cool thing. I mean, it's giving us shit, but I mean, it's a little different. I like it a lot, it's fun. This is probably the same one that Keiichi got fucking killed in. I think the uh, the drawn backgrounds are not as creepy for nighttime scenes. They're still dark, but they're like way too blue. They're way too like soft. I think it's one of the few spots where I feel like the actual that and the car scenes are better with the two. Three is just a dick. One he's really cool. Two he's like I don't know. This one he's like cool. Two I don't know kind of between like I don't know. I don't know the full thing with the Wii shit. I think he's just a weird fucking dude, maybe.
Religious activities, but not. Clever. But I think the guy they're talking about gets fucking murked, man. Like, he gets destroyed. Maybe she's saving his fucking life right now, dude. <laughs> Who knows? Fun. So that was her warning. She didn't, maybe she didn't know for sure, but it was a good chance. I mean, he still might get fucked. Who knows? Man. I don't think he gets fucked. Though. I thought he was the guy who was going to, like, it is in 20 or in the 60th year or whatever the fuck. I was gonna talk to him, but I forgot the name. They only mentioned it like once. I assume it's him because he had a history with Oishi. But I mean, the dude could get like crippled or something for all I know, man. Who knows? <laughs> 